starting in a wide stance, raise the arms up above the head, inhale, palms together, exhale, bending knees, folding forward, crossing over the arms, inhale, back up again, looking up, really stretching, exhale, releasing as you come down, inhale, back up again, and exhale, coming down, pulling in the pelvic floor as you come forward, and inhale, release a little as you come up. Feeling that sense of relaxation, shoulders, the arms and the back warming up as well as relaxing. Uncurl gently now. And then we're going to start to exercise the legs and the bottom. So bring the palms together and then you're going to come into a squat. Engage the legs, engage the bottom and then coming back up. Coming back down and up. Exhale down, keeping a nice straight back and raising up. Coming down, engaging the bottom and lifting up. Engage your pelvic floor as well now if you can and lift up. Squatting down and releasing. And bring the hands gently down and get yourself some dumbbells or some tin cans from the cupboard. And we're going to do some arm exercises, starting with a bicep curl. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now we're going to push up above the head. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms down by the side, and we're going to slide down. Ten. Now the other side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And coming back up, and you're gonna bring the arms into an extended position, and then bring the elbows in, back out, coming down and extending out. Try and keep the arms strong as you do this, the shoulders relax. Maintain that position of a lengthened spine. Make sure your ankles and feet are relaxed as you do this as well. All these exercises are excellent for safely toning the arms and strengthening the shoulders and chest area, which is all essential preparation, ready for when you're doing lots of lifting of your baby. Just give your arms a little wiggle for a moment. Make sure they feel nice and comfortable. And then we're going to move on to our next position. So just bring it into a bent V position to start with, then extend out. So a slightly smaller movement here. If you can, just have the thumbs and one finger wrapped around your dumbbells or tin can and stretch out the other fingers. Just feeling all those big muscles and those smaller supporting muscles working here. Remember your breathing throughout, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Just pop one weight down. We're just going to work the triceps, bring the arms behind the back, and then you're just going to raise up and back down. Keeping that going, engaging those muscles at the back of the arms is a great way to keep the arms really toned and really strong. Just breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. Pop the weights to one side. You finish with those now, and you're going to bring yourself down into hands and knees. Bring your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Let's do some hip circles. This is a great way to release your lower back and any tightness that you might be suffering from in the hip area. Going in the other direction. 
being on hands and knees is one of the best positions to exercise in pregnancy. It's great to help bring the baby into the best position for labor. Extending one leg out now. If you feel comfortable, you can lift up the opposite arm, but only do this if you feel that you have your balance. Breathing deeply here. It's a safe way to engage your core muscles without straining your tummy. Releasing down and let's do the other side, extending the leg out, either staying here or if you want to bring the opposite arm up, you can. Again, a really safe and effective position to strengthen and tone. Releasing down, staying on your hands and knees now, bend the knee, engage the bottom, and you're just gonna lift up the leg, and then you're gonna lower and extend out. Lift up the leg, lower, extend out. This is a really good way of toning the bottom and the thighs. Remember, you're breathing deeply as you do this. This really helps to take the strain off your lower back as your bump gets bigger but still allows you to keep this area nice and strong. And repeating the other side now. Lifting up, extending out. Engage the bottom and releasing. Remember to breathe deeply. The stronger that your bottom and your legs are, better it's going to help you to support your bump, but also going to help you with stamina throughout labor. And then now from hands and knees, move yourself into a downward dog. We're just gonna stretch here for a moment, feeling the hamstrings and the back release. Then moving one leg up to the top of the mat, knee in the middle, foot pointing onto the opposite side and then extend the other leg a little bit behind you. So we're gonna go into an extended pigeon position. Keep your shoulders relaxed, look up slightly, have the hands either side of the knee. As with all the poses, make sure you work to your own level and you feel comfortable and your bump feels comfortable at all times. Breathe in and out through the nose deeply. Then come back to downward dog as your transition pose and we're gonna do the other side now. Bring the knee into the middle of the mat, foot pointing out to the side, extend out the back leg, shoulders relaxed, looking up. This pigeon pose is one of the best stretches for the piriformis muscle, the area where the bottom and the back meet, which can get so tight during pregnancy. It's also a great release for the area around the hips. Then slowly come up to either a sitting or a kneeling position, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Just bring the arms back behind you, clasp the fingers together, squeeze the shoulder blades together and open the chest. Just breathe into the stretch. This is great to stretch and release any tension that may have built up through your arm toning exercises. And then bring the arms in front of you, arch the upper back here, tuck the chin in, feeling the whole of the back releasing. And raise one arm up, drop it down behind your back and grab hold of the elbow with the other arm. Just feeling that stretch out through the triceps. Breathing in through the nose, letting abdomen rise. Exhale through the nose, letting abdomen lower, swapping sides. Then, if you're not already in the sitting position, come to one now and extend both legs out. Just grab hold of wherever you can on your legs, your ankles, or your feet. Relax, breathe deeply in and out through your nose, 
and you can stay here for as long as you like. and release to finish.